Hi, and welcome to Common Denominators, day one. So let's talk about these two words, common and denominator. So in this case, when we talk about common, we're talking about in common, like they have it in common, or it's the same, okay? So you are looking for a, when you say common denominator, you are looking for two fractions or more that have the same denominator. What's a denominator, you might ask? Well, in a fraction, the denominator is the number on the bottom. It's the number that you are dividing by. If you think of this as a division problem, which it, it is, um, the operation is division that's going on here. So it is the denominator, it's the second number in the fraction, the bottom, I like to refer to it as the bottom number, just seems to make more sense to me. So if we wanna see if two fractions, we're just gonna deal with two fractions for now. Um, if two fractions have a common denominator, we're just gonna look and see if they have the same denominator as each other. This is actually pretty fun because it's easy. Okay, one third and one fourth, do they have the same denominator? Well, this one is three and this one is four. That is not the same. No. Okay, easy enough. Two fifths and four fifths, do they have the same denominator, the same number on the bottom? Five and five, yes. So, yay, they, are com they have common denominators. Okay, what about these two? Um, no, we've got a seven over here and a 14 over here. Boop, boop, eh, not common denominators. And let's look at this last one. 5 twelfths and 11 twelfths. They both are twelfths. They're, you're dividing something into 12 parts for both of them. They are common denominators right here, 12 and 12. And this gets a smiley face. So that's it for common denominators for today. You're just going to be identifying if two fractions a pair of fractions has a common denominator or it doesn't. And that's it. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.